everyone, Mac is back. Today we're going to talk about the new update that just went through, a couple commanders that were awakened, and uh, I actually might even go and touch on the glorious battle just slightly, uh, depending on how much time we have, so uh, let's get to it. First one we'll talk about is the free to play and Arsalan. So um, you can see his specializations were his spear health and spear attack. So this is a nice addition to uh, Gorel as in for the uh, for the spear commanders of the free uh, free to play. And his awakening, um, the the big thing of course we're always looking for is the uh, the skill is pain inhibition, and it says in battle every eight seconds. Uh, your commander will heal 2% of the wounded for the uh, allied troop with the greatest losses. So it'll basically it's going to it's going to happen uh, since there's 40 seconds in a battle. That's going to happen five uh, five times. And you're going to get a 2% uh, healing of the wounded. So this is actually this is actually very good for um, anyone who has a spear uh, uses spear in their line. If you're a you know imp spear or a spear cab or something like that. Um, then definitely uh, look into um, uh, look into this uh, upgrading into four stars. Um, Arya still, I think, is the best co the best commander, free free of like commander that you want to four star first. Um, but then this the second one actually might be might be Arslan here because two percent healing, um, especially for a free to play, I think is uh, is really good because then you won't have to use those resources and and uh, healers to. Uh, get your troops back so that's always nice and then you check the hidden abilities here we have spear defense health and attacks so you're getting uh, very nice for that frontline spear if you're doing it and also you know even if you're having as a back line you're still getting the attack and the wood production which we don't really care about and then the next one we want to look at is Hector and oh, there he is fantastic. and Hector is um, he's a different commander as well so you're um, Obviously, Hector tokens is to, uh, to upgrade what you're gonna what you're gonna need. Um, he is he, he takes epics and he, uh, epic tokens and not the elites like Arslan does. And his skill is after the first time an army active skill damage is taken by each allied lineups at the front, all immediately heal 15% troops lost due to damage taken. At the, uh, at the same time, lineup's attack increases by 15%. So you're, now we're talking about a 15% you know, um, total total attack uh, boost there as well. So it says the lineup uh, attack increases. So not actually not total attack, I guess, but, but it's attack for that lineup. So there's five lineups, and we're talking about 15% there. And this happens after the first time army active skill damage is taken by each allied lineup at the front after the first time after the first time so they can their army skill is going to go off and then once they get um they take damage uh, by each of their lineups at the front all of them immediately heal 15 percent so the 15 percent heal is quite big we just talked about arsalan and his two percent heal now we're talking about a 15 percent heal um, so this is actually this is actually going to be a pretty I think a pretty good skill, uh, you know, pretty good skill to have. 15% heal, you know, if you're, you know, if this is consistently happening, which you know after that first time the active army skill is taken, um, each all of well yeah. So I mean I guess maybe it just pops once if you're talking about after the first, just the first time. So maybe it isn't as maybe this isn't as uh, build up as, as I'm kind of playing it to be. Um, we'll have to see it in battle and see what actually, uh, you know, see what those the whales once they, you know, uh, get it up there. But uh, so that's that's something that's very interesting is the the heal the heal and then the 15%. Um, and then looking into the hidden abilities, we have a spear defense, a spear attack, and then the uh, the cab health reduction, which is exactly what what he had uh, for his normal skills as well: defense, attack, and then health reduction. So. Um, He'll definitely be worth it in those spear lines because these 40% will change until I think like 90% or something like that. Maybe it's 70. Well, regardless, it's going to be uh, it's going to be very nice. I think it's actually like 70, but that's still it's really really good because these will go up. These these all will go up uh, significantly. And I think you can even compare that to. I don't think I have any 
everybody that's there. So, well, no, that now he's he was all 30 percent. So his 30 percent go up to 48. So there's 18 percent they added on, you know, to that one as well. I'm trying to find like a, a 40. There you go. So 64 percent because she was 40 percent, 40 percent across the board. So you're talking 64 percent um, for those as well. And then if uh, then if you look at the skills, the hidden abilities in here, you're talking another you know 26 to 28 percent. Um, on top of on top of these so that's uh what is that 80 yeah 92 so i was right it was about 90 percent um which was very nice uh very nice for hector as well and one of the last things that i want to uh i wanted to talk about as well is that you can see up here this this 18 which is uh, a new new thing that they added and if you actually back out and you look at your the commanders you can see here in the upper kind of left hand corner here that the um each one of these commanders has a number beside a little icon with a number and what this means is that if you have a the higher the number the more valuable the commander is be, um, based on I guess their skills and uh, and even if they're awakened I, I, I don't see these changing that much uh, honestly to tell you the truth because I mean if you look at Ari at 15 and I have her at three stars um, is if I get her to four stars she's gonna go to 16 I guess maybe that, that's possible but I think these are actually kind of set in stone because if you look at, you know, um, like, you know, Julian 17, you know, Lats uh, is 18. Um, just, you know, you're looking at Seg being 18. I think that's because of, you know, 40% here uh, base stats. And I think because of the total attack here, that, that's still like Arya, they, they don't have her that high, which is kind of odd. But if you kind of skip down to like, you know, the big commanders here, like I have, I have John Snow Gray and he's at 20. And I think those, those are all the big commanders at 20. But you know, just increasing, like say, Danny, she's at, she's in blue, and she's still 20. So I think that these aren't going to change at all. Um, so it, it just kind of gives you an idea of what uh, you know what they can do, uh, or what the, the kind of a, the power that they are. And then once you've um, once you go into this screen here, you can see um, you can actually click on the icon, and it'll pop up and says the overall score is 18. Um, rating of overall ability growth for world battle map and internal affairs buildings, so special, uh, specialization effect, uh, awakening effect, and others. This commander cannot be awake, uh, can be awakened by their own exclusive tokens or elite general tokens. So it tells you which tokens you can uh, you know, uh, awaken your uh, the, the commander by. Um, and again, like I said, it gives you that 18 uh, score. And then it says the world map battle. So it basically it's combining all of these to give you that overall as well. And then you can see here world map uh, battle positioning. And if you hover over there, it's, it's telling you, you know, using them in all of these different uh, events. And then it gives you, which is interesting, a, a lineup uh, recommendation. And the, the recommendation is for the commanders that you own. And it even gives the quality of them and how uh, awakened they are. And like for this one here, this is for like either a infantry cab or a cab infantry uh, formation. And this one for a cab spear or a spear cab. And you can see the commanders that they have on here. And so you can hover over them. And as you hover over them, it, it even tells you like, see here for Hector, his uh, war soul awakening skill, which is locked. I don't have it unlocked. And, and then it, it tells you what the skill is. So, so like for Seg, it's the opposite. It just tells you that I, it doesn't tell you that it's unlocked, it just shows you that I have it and what the skill is and, you, and so on and so forth for each uh, for each of the other ones. So uh, I'm not sure I would recommend, I definitely wouldn't recommend following this completely and uh, blindless, blindly because uh, Jon Snow at Grey is not very good. Not very good at all. Like I would never have him in any of my, uh, you know, I would, I would need a lot more here. Uh, I would need him uh, upgrade a lot more for that too that to be possible so uh, but it just gives you an idea I mean if, if you're looking at this bottom one this is not a bad not a bad lineup but again you know I'm probably still gonna you know, change a few in it like Annie's got to be in this lineup I believe too um, unless I had Hector you know uh, you know upgraded a little bit to maybe like three stars then I would you know, consider that but I think this is kind of where kind of where you, uh, you know, like I said you kind of got to figure things out for yourself um, I thought this might be a little bit better than this, but, um, you know, like, why would you put Jon Snow in? It just doesn't make any sense without um, you know, being upgraded. So uh, that's those are the, the main uh, issues that we had, made the updates that we had here. So I hope that that uh, gave you a little idea of, uh, you know, is it worth Arslan uh, and my, to upgrade him? In my opinion, is that, that is a yes. 
um, and, you know, especially for the free to play, and save up those um, you know those elite tokens. And then for um, you know for Hector, um, can't say he's can't say I would be uh, pushing to uh, to upgrade him um, right now just because he's you know that's a nice skill. But I, I want to see I think I'd want to see that first before I get him any before I would go for a four star on him. Um, definitely uh, definitely look into the. Um, the three star, uh, the, the two star for sure, because he actually has, I believe he has friendship. So he can increase your army size and your rally size in the uh, tavern. So that's something that I would try to get him to is the, the two star, uh, if you can do that. But then uh, then I would, you know, depending on your line, if you have spear in it, then maybe get him a little bit higher the three star. But, uh, so uh, yeah, that's it. I hope that uh, I helped you out. And uh, until next time, Mac out.